Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. August was a tough month for me and I'll be honest, I almost didn't make this video. But I knew it was important to show the reality of being a freelancer and the real behind the scenes. Because despite what you may think, it's not all stress-free and happy times. For the sake of transparency, most of this vlog's footage was taken in the last half of the month. I went into August very optimistic. The first week started off great, I was really focused and motivated, I even challenged myself a little. But as I entered the second week, things started to go downhill. I was really struggling to balance my work and personal life. I felt like I was in limbo, not able to make decisions, prioritize tasks, or get anything done. My mind was all over the place. I was definitely in denial when it came to how I was feeling. It wasn't until I opened up to some friends I realized I was burnt out, which is something I didn't want to admit since I am my own boss and I can take breaks whenever I want to if I needed them. However, I see now how that could still be dangerous because I tend to set really high expectations for myself and probably wouldn't take a proper break until I'm physically and mentally exhausted. So that's why, going forward, I have decided to book time off regularly and in advance so my work life revolves around that, rather than the other way around. The first step for me is to reduce the amount of client work I take on so I can focus on completing the work I have now without sacrificing quality. Since I work alone, I can't just easily hand off my work to someone else and take time off. That's why, starting next month, I've decided to put a hold on new client work until the new year. I'm very grateful I've had a successful year so far and this won't affect me too much financially. Halfway through August, I got word that I'll be receiving my sweater soon, which I've been anxiously waiting for. I think this is when I started to feel motivated again, because I had something to look forward to. I really put a lot of thought into this sweater, maybe too much, but I didn't want to rush it and risk making mistakes. Quality is a big deal for me, and I spent weeks going through manufacturers until I found one that supplied high quality sweaters and also had clean embroidery work. Getting samples was the next step, and this part almost made me want to give up because sometimes it can be difficult explaining things to manufacturers. Even if you create a perfect mock-up of the product, they'll still manage to get something wrong. I went through four samples in total. With the first one, the back text was screen printed and not embroidered like I had asked. With the second one, they embroidered it correctly, but used their own font for the text for some reason, instead of the one that I supplied. Third one, they got the embroidery and design right, but all of a sudden the sizing and positioning was way off. And finally with the fourth sample, they were able to get it right and I was confident enough to open up pre-orders.
I also designed these little woven labels with my logo on them to add some branding to the sweaters. I really love how they turned out and I think they make the sweaters look so much more professional. I initially wanted to sew the labels on by hand, but after doing a couple of sweaters, I realized this was not going to work, so I recruited my lovely mom to help out again. Coming up with the packaging for them was so much fun, but I also wanted to keep it simple since I don't like excessive packaging. I designed a reusable zipper bag with a small custom print of my logo and a line that says, be true to yourself no matter how weird you think you are, in English and then translated to a similar Japanese phrase. I also made some thank you postcards that share the inspiration behind the phrase, stay weird. I'm so excited for everyone who pre-ordered to receive their sweater. Honestly, I can't express how happy I am with these sweaters. For a while, they were just a dream and I didn't think they'd generate enough interest for me to actually get them made, but here we are. Any leftover sweaters will be added to my shop sometime in September. The quantities will be limited, so make sure to follow me on Instagram at omgkoneko if you want to grab one. I'll also leave the link in the description below. This month was not the best month for me, but I'm proud of myself for pushing through and even making time to put this vlog together. So thank you for following along and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!